the Mona Lisa 7 clinical trial is a phase 3 clinical trial which enrolled 672 women. The unique feature of this study was it was all premenopausal younger women. They were all under the age of 59. And we evaluated whether the addition of a CDK4-6 inhibitor, ribocyclib, improves outcomes for women, improves the length that their disease is controlled, and what we presented today is whether it improves overall survival. So it was a randomized clinical trial. Um, all patients received endocrine therapy, so they received either an aromatase inhibitor or tamoxifen. They selected that with their physician. They all received gasarolin to turn off the ovaries. And then half of them received a placebo. In addition to that, half of them received the CDK4-6 inhibitor, ribocyclib. Our primary endpoint was looking at median progression-free survival, and that was actually published in 2018. We demonstrated that the the addition of ribocyclib to therapy extends progression-free survival by about 10 months. So women were able to live with their disease controlled around 23.8 months, about two years. What we demonstrated here today, which is really historical data, is that statistically significantly improvement in overall survival was dem demonstrated. Patients live longer. So when you look at the median overall survival, it hadn't yet been reached for patients treated with ribocyclib. Um, the hazard ratio was um, amazing, 0.71, so 29% relative risk reduction for death. The landmark analysis at 42 months showed that 46% of patients in placebo were still alive at the time of analysis compared to 70.2% of patients in the ribocyclib arm. There were no new safety signals, um, which is a good thing. Patients in my own practice feel well on this therapy. They're able to raise their children, work on their career, be functional, and feel good um, while they're receiving therapy that we've now shown extends how long they will live. This study is really transformative in that it's the first study to show a substantial overall survival benefit by taking young women, uh, putting them into menopause by giving them a GnRH inhibitor, adding an aromatase inhibitor, and adding a CDK4-6 inhibitor ribocyclic. Um, this is uh, huge. It will change the uh, frontline practice uh, for these women. What we don't know is whether or not this is something that's specific to ribocyclib or whether or not it's a class effect for the CDK4-6 inhibitors. For the time being, this is the information that we have, and so this is probably the drug that we'll use. What's extraordinary here is the huge difference in survival, and it's very surprising and interesting because that hasn't been shown in any comparable studies. Um, what else is special about the study is that it focuses on the youngest patients or premenopausal patients and uh, to my knowledge there really hasn't been a study focusing specifically on that group in this setting. Um, uh, you ask yourself questions, is it the particular CGK46 inhibitor? It's hard to imagine but um, uh, or is it that it's limited to premenopausal patients and those results were maybe diluted in the other studies that included premenopausal patients when they were on uh, ovarian suppression. Um, so I have to really think about how this is going to impact my practice. Am I actually going to switch CDK4-6 inhibitors? Um, I look forward to the presentation on Tuesday and the discussion surrounding that. Each of the CDK4-6 inhibitors were found to be about this have this, about the same efficacy for postmenopausal women. There are differences in side effects. Um, I think we have to assume if one works, they, they probably all work, and we'll probably pick and choose which drug to use based on the side effect of pro profile for that particular patient to decide which one may be best for them. Patients are already taking this as standard of care, but what we've done now is demonstrated that this therapy they're receiving and have access to extends survival. I think one of the great things about these data is that it may improve access worldwide where overall survival needs to be demonstrated in order for governments and institutions to provide this type of drug to patients.